Okay guys, hello and welcome back. Um, here's the uh, demo of the uh, infrared sensors. Um, what I got going on here is I got our breadboard all set up just like our, our drawing. Um, I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna grab a pen real quick. Something to, something to point with here. Um, okay, I'm gonna see if maybe I can zoom in here. Maybe a little bit, get a little bit. Okay, we got our, our regulator circuit portion is up here. Here's our LED. <clears throat> this is coming off of that C3 pin. So here we got our decoupling cap for the power to our chip. Um, and then what I used instead of, I just had this one laying around. You can really use any generic uh, transistor. I had one of these IRF uh, um, 510As, the International Rectifier 510As, uh, just laying around MOSFETs. So that's what I used. Um, the, the ones that I showed in the, in the, uh, in the videos was the uh, uh, 2N7002, I believe, just a little N-channel MOSFET, but any N-channel will work. Um, I've got our resistor that is going uh, from the drain to a high. I've also got um, our source, sourced, grounded, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the source is here, that's this wire going over here, that's grounded out, and then we also have the uh, the gate of the transistor is over here. This transistor, the way it works is it'll go gate, it goes gate, drain, source. That's how this one works. So we got that all hooked up. We also have, this is our receiver. The uh, the clear one is the receiver. It's the actual, the uh, receiving transistor, the opto transistor, I guess is what they call it. And then this one is our infrared uh, emitter. And all I've done is I've just grounded it down here. I've stuck a, one of that uh, 25 ohm resistor on it. And then what I'm using is I'm using this wire right here kind of as a switch. And when I touch it, it'll light this little LED, um, which is infrared, and then it will um, send the signal to this guy, and which will then in turn send the signal to here, and then should turn on this LED. It's basically how it's gonna work. Um, if you need to, what's kind of cool is you can kind of see it light up. I'm gonna zoom way in. Let me move our camera around here. Whoa, whoa. This tripod is crazy. And maybe you guys can see it light up when I when I touch it. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna turn off this other light that's up here just so you can maybe see it better. And maybe you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and touch them together and I'll see if you can. Can you see it? I don't know if you'll be able to see that. You may have to put this video on high resolution, but if you watch right here, right there, at the very tip of the LED, you should see kind of a little red dot appear. Okay, there it is. You see it? Kind of a little red dot appears at the end of it. So that way you can kind of tell that it is turning on. Um, but if we zoom out to where we can really see everything, okay, when I take my, take my hands here and I touch these two together, our LED turns on. Hooray. And now in just so you know that I'm not fooling you or anything, you can see right here that all this resistor is doing is going right down to there, goes through this guy and just to ground. And if you look, this is my ground jumper that jumpers back over to my regulator to ground everything. But that's that's all it is doing. I'm actually turning that LED on and off using an infrared beam to the detector. I'm not actually electrically doing anything. When I connect this, all I'm doing is lighting lighting this guy and then he's sending it across. So pretty cool. So that's our circuit in action. So hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, another thing is you guys might be wondering why, why I don't use it like a remote and this, these guys are so close. Well, since I don't really have anything to focus this and depending on the wavelength of light that I have and some of that, you, you, you get these far enough away and the, since the light kind of sp splatters out of this thing, it, it doesn't detect very well. And so, and that's where now you guys can come into it. You guys can play. You guys can take and try, try different uh, emitters, try different detectors, try different uh, wavelengths. Um, you know, just vary all those variables. You've got wavelengths that you can vary. You've got uh, current. Maybe, maybe I should, maybe I should push, uh, change this resistor and push more current through it to make this brighter and then maybe from a distance the it'll it'll have more intensity and so this might be able to pick it up I don't know um, I've just kind of thrown this together so I haven't actually had time to sit and experiment with it but um, 
I'll leave that to you guys to experiment and play around with it and see what you guys can can create. I've seen some other videos on, on YouTube, um, some very good videos of people showing how to um, even do maybe analog stuff. And that's another thing that you could do. I'm using this pretty pretty bare bonesy to, to, to I'm making this this has to get such a good um, em emission from this guy to make him work you could throw an op amp onto this you know throw a little uh, a little um, positive feedback op amp onto this thing and so that way then when when this guy shines I've, I've um, you could you could have it way back way back here you know way far away and maybe this only will change this pull-up network right here. Maybe it only changes it by a few millivolts. Well, you could take a few millivolts, run it through an op amp, and turn it into volts. You know, if you wanted to, and still fire this this transistor, or you could change transistors. Maybe maybe get a different transistor that has a, a different uh, threshold level or something. Um, you know, just all all those variables are stuff to play with to increase your distance. But that's the reason that they're so close is that I just threw this together with what we had. Like I said, this is a demo. But if you actually want to make something that is kind of like a TV remote, you might want to you know want to play with that. But vary the vary these guys. You know, these are just the Radio Shack ones. In fact. Uh, well, I used to have the bag, but that those are the Radio Shack ones. So you know, uh, they they give you a description, but I don't know. I don't really have data sheets for these guys, so I don't know how well they work. But um, anyway, have fun, uh, play with this. It's it's actually quite a bit of fun. I think I may play more with it. I may make some subsequent videos showing you uh, me maybe shooting it across the room or something and making it work or something. I don't know. I may play with this more. So anyway, interesting stuff. Keep coding as always, guys. Keep. Uh, Keep those new innovations coming, so uh, I'll catch you later. Thanks again.